Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love in the general for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of June. So watch this video if you're a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're dealing with one. Keep in mind, these are general readings, so it may or may not resonate. If it do not resonate, do not try to deliberately fit in, check in any other placement. If you wanna have a personal reading, link is in the description. If you want to follow my Instagram where I share weekly and monthly horoscope for free the link is in the description so now let us see messages for the sign of sagittarius for the month of june uh, so let's see what is coming in for sagittarius for the month of june i was getting repetitive messages from the sign of sagittarius like when are you going to do my reading and all of that so here we are doing your readings let's see what is the blessing coming in for Sagittarius for the month of June what blessings are coming in for Sagittarius for the month of June so the blessing is the ten of wands so I see that in the month of June you will be feeling like your burden is kind of removed you will feel like um, this light energy all right you will feel like your burdens have been removed you will feel like the responsibility upon you has reduced so that is happening if you had been under a lot of stress lately a lot of workload lately then things will ease in for you so that is what i see i also see that if you were working really really hard and you could not see the end the destination all right i see that in the month of june your destination is going to become very very visible to you and you will be just almost there you know you you will reach your destination is what i see and this is going to give you a sense of relief okay so gone are the days of feeling overburdened <laughs> all right so let's start let's see um now let's see what is the possible blockage for sagittarius for the month of june so your blockage is the magician card sagittarius Something that you really need to pay attention to and something that you need to work upon is not overestimating yourself because I see that you will be very close to your goal or you will achieve your goals or you will be very close to your destination. Uh, and then what can happen is that you will try to take it for granted and you will feel like, oh, I'm already there and I know how to get here and I know what needs to be done and there is no need to practice or there is no need to hone my skills or whatever. And in this overestimation you might actually screw up things so your advice is not to overestimate yourself do not be overly sure of your success stay humble and work hard and you will be able to reach wherever you are trying to reach all right so that is something i also see that you might be using your skills in a wrong way so you have what it takes to achieve your goals, but you might be doing the wrong thing at the wrong time. So just pay attention so that you can make the most out of your knowledge, your skills, your talent or whatever. All right. So that is something that you need to pay attention to. Do not become smug. Okay. Do not be overconfident. That is something that I want to tell you for the month of June. Stay humble, stay grounded stay persistent keep working towards your goal and you will reach wherever you want to reach okay so that is what it is now let's see your career and finance in the month of june so what is coming towards sagittarius in career and finance in the month of june so didn't you see the emperor's card oh my god yes we did see the emperor's card and bottom of the deck is the emperor by the way are you like getting the best of both worlds in the month of june <laughs> So yeah, a lot of abundance, a lot of prosperity coming in, right? So definitely your loads are going to be lightened. We have the freaking Empress here. So I see that whatever you touch will have the potential to turn into gold in the month of June. Sagittarius Universe is definitely blessing you with that Midas touch and you can really make your goals happen if you work upon this blockage and if you keep these points in mind, there is nothing stopping you. I see that you are going to have all the opportunities in the world and you will have everything that it takes to make your goals happen. Your creativity is going to be at the top and you will be able to utilize your skills and you will be able to utilize your knowledge, your art, your creativity and you will be able to create abundance out of it. 
So career and finance looks really, really good. It can be better than your expectations, actually. Things are looking very, very positive for you. What else? What else is coming towards Sagittarius in career and finance? Star card. Ooh, love that. Star and the Empress and like all of the good cards. <laughs> So definitely, I see that you will be shining like a star. You are going to use your skills, your knowledge, and you will be able to use it very, very well. You know, the right thing at the right time. So just make sure that you're using the right thing at the right time and you're not overestimating yourself. You're staying humble. If you do that, I see that you are going to be really outshining your competition at your workspace as well. The spotlight is going to come to you. So some sort of an appreciation is coming your way. Um, things are going to look really, really good for you. So yeah, overall, it's a very positive reading when it comes to your career in finance. I also see that you may start something new in the month of June, like you will start it, right? Like you will sow the seed and it will have the potential to grow into something over the time. So success is assured, slow and steady and continuous growth is seen for you. I also see some miracles happening, like something happening and when it happens, you will feel like that that was just out of sheer luck. So luck is favoring you, okay? Universe is favoring you. What is the advice for Sagittarius and Curry for career and finance in the month of June? Advice. So we have the advice as the temperance card. So the only thing that you need to pay attention to and keep in mind is that you need to strike a balance, maybe balance between your personal and professional life, or you just need to create balance at your workspace and maybe a balance in your spending habits or whatever. So moderation is the key. You have to practice moderation. Don't try to go in extremes. Don't try to do things at extremes. If you practice moderation, if you move ahead with the um, you know balance things will work really really good for you also do not try to get into any sort of tiffs with anybody um this is the time to just try to have peace and harmony with your co-workers try to cooperate with people and i see things will be really really good for you so yeah when it comes to career and finance I, this is possibly one of the best readings that i've done for this month for you sagittarius like really all right, now let's see your love life. What's going on in Sagittarius' love life? Give me the present energy for Sagittarius in love. Also, um, intuitively I'm getting that if you can practice meditation or if you can do something for healing, like to calm your mind down, to get your nervous system regulated, I see that is going to prove really good for you when it comes to you making decisions for career and finance. So if you can do something for healing, meditation, all of that, it's going to help you in your career and financial growth. All right, now let's see your love life, Sagittarius. Give me the present energy for Sagittarius and love. Present energy for Sagittarius and love, please. Present energy. So we have the moon card. Hmm. Recently, something might have come out um, about somebody that you were dealing with in your love life. And if you're not dealing with anybody, then moon card can just mean that you have somewhere lost hope when it comes to love. Um, you're feeling very clouded and confused. Um, you feel like there is no hope. Um, you're having this fear that maybe you will never find somebody. So something like that, you know, like a lot of fear and illusion surrounds you um, in your love life. And you are very anxious when it comes to your love life. What is the blockage? Or if you're dealing with somebody, then maybe you got to know something about someone. Some lies, deceptions came to the surface. What is the blockage for Sagittarius and love? What's the blockage? The blockage is the lover and the two of cups. Oh my God. Hmm. Both the love cards are coming in the blockage. So I see that the blockage is that there is no one-on-one -on -one communication with somebody. So if you're dealing with someone, I see the one-on-one -on -one communication is hampered. Right now you might be in no communication maybe that is a thing for others of you there might be a love triangle that is a blockage you're dealing with somebody and this person in turn is dealing with someone else so a choice is not being able to make and this is not letting this connection move forward so lovers show me that there could be a love triangle possibly 
And if it's not a love triangle, then I just see that uh, the one-on-one -on -one communication is missing, that support that you seek out of this person is missing, somebody's not giving you uh, what you want, that perfect balance is missing. So things are not looking positive. Somebody is not appreciating the love um, and the respect, the warmth that you brought to this connection. This person has been taking you for granted. So that is happening. And if you're single, I see that you're just not able to find somebody with whom you can share a balanced connection. Whoever you meet, this person turns out to be something that you do not want them to be, you know? So like that, you're not, basically you're not getting what you want. What is the future energy for Sagittarius and love? What's the outcome for Sagittarius and love in the month of June? So we have the hanged man, yeah. Things will take time for you, Sagittarius, to shift. And for this shift to happen, first you need to surrender. Maybe you need to surrender your fear, your doubts, your illusion. This, um, you know, self-made illusion that you will never find somebody. You need to come out of your head, basically. And if you will do that, only things will happen for you. Handman says that a shift will happen and things will work out for you if you surrender. If you trust the process of life, if you go with the flow and if you have faith and optimism only then things will shift for you so i see that right now your love life is completely on a standstill and a lot of confusion maybe you're dealing with somebody this person is very stubborn whatever i see that things will be able to take a positive turn only when you surrender when you start feeling from within that if this is meant for me it will happen if not i'm not going to obsess over it that's when shift will happen but if you keep on obsessing over this situation, holding it very, very tightly, it will not move. So you need to surrender. And then bottom of the deck is seven of sword. If you're dealing with somebody, I see this person is very deceptive. This person has been a cheater, a liar. You will get to know more shit about this person. Things are going to come to the surface. You need to let go of this person. This person is full of shit, dishonesty. There's a third party situation here. You need to let go of this person. Some of you, you are like so fixated on this person and the situation, you feel like, if not this person, then I do not want anybody. You need to come out of that kind of mindset because you yourself are blocking yourself from love. You need to surrender. There is something that you know very clearly that you need to let go of, but you're not doing it. And until unless you do it, things will not shift for you. So, now it's the time to let go of anything that is not serving you. And if you will do it, I see there's a peaceful future that waits for you. You have to make some sacrifices and you have to surrender a toxic person or a situation and only then things can work for you. As simple as that. Let's take romance angel card for you. Give me a message for Sagittarius, please. So we have flirt, extend your light-hearted energy to others. Some of you, you need to bring in more optimism and light-hearted energy in your life. You have been overly obsessed and overly negative and overly pessimistic when it comes to your love life. Maybe you need to indulge in some light-hearted flirting, meeting people, going on dates. You know, you need to do that. You need to explore your options. When you will do it, things will work for you and let go of control issues. Exactly what I was telling with the hangman. You're trying to exert control more than it's required. You need to surrender. You really need to surrender now. Let the universe take its course and it's going to guide you. But if you try to do everything by yourself and if you try to hold on to things that are not meant for you, you are just going to block your own abundance. Let's see, romance oracle card for you. Give me message for Sagittarius, please, for the month of June message for Sagittarius so we have two cards that came for you look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way yeah you need to surrender you need to find that answer within you if your love life is not moving ahead if things are not moving ahead then there is also something wrong within you maybe your own belief system maybe your own stubbornness to hold on to toxic people and situations which is not letting you move forward and enter into a new chapter 
So you need to look within yourself, examine within yourself what, what is causing you to feel this way, the way you're feeling right now about love. You're completely negative, do not have any hope. Why are you feeling like this? What are your belief systems which lead you to feel like this? Look for the answer. And then we have, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. You need to start showing more gratitude for things in life. I see that love is going to come into your life and you need to give thanks for it in the advance and you need to trust that you deserve it and you will have it. Right now you're completely hopeless, you feel it's never gonna happen for you. You need to come out of that mindset. If you will do, things will shift for you. So that's pretty much your reading. I hope this helps and resonate. If it does, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment. I will see you very soon in the next two video. Till then you guys take care, stay safe, bye.